B Corp, which it means a benefit corporation, is a, is a company that is accountable for the social and environmental impact of the products it creates and, uh, and the work that it does. FDJCO has been a B Corp since our founding as the Fairtrade Jewelry Company. This is our 10th anniversary and we're really excited and proud about that that we've been able to, over the years, not only meet the initial standards, but the successive improvements to the B Corp standard, which has made us uh, a better company. But we, we wanted to go beyond the initial certifications we had, which were based in the jewelry industry, and our certification for the Fair Trade Gold that we launched in, in North America in 2011, and other industry bodies like the Responsible Jewelry Council and the Fair Mind Standard. All of those things audit us as a jewelry company, but a B Corp covers all the other things. And for us, it was really important that we be a good company overall, as opposed to just a good jewelry company. I care that the products that I make that become symbols of, of people's relationships, that become symbols of who they are and how they interact with the world, um, I, I want those materials to have integrity, I want the piece to have integrity, um, and I want the people who made that piece and, and who work within this company to be treated with integrity as well. One of the things that we do here is we say no. Sometimes being a B Corp means that you won't do certain things that another corporation that exists solely for profit or benefit of shareholders. For us, it comes down to where a diamond comes from. You know, and if we can't give you a good source for a diamond, if the supply chain, they don't have a transparent chain of custody so we can actually say, yes, it came from here and it went here and it went here, then we disclose that. But there are some sources that we just won't set those goods. We won't profit from things and materials that we feel don't reflect our values. Accounting for the carbon footprint of transported materials is a real challenge in our industry, but it's something that we at FTJCO really, really care about. One of the reasons it's so hard to do is because of the lack of transparency for most jewelry materials. You know, traditionally gold, diamonds, and gemstones are mined in various resource-rich countries around the globe, and then they're often shipped out for assessment in another country, processed or um, cut and polished in another country. And so this opaque chain of custody is what's made it possible for unethical mining to be disguised and unethical cutting practices. Since our inception, FTJCO has pushed the players in our industry for more transparency and a more equal distribution of profit. And we've made great strides in certain areas and we still have a lot of work to do in others. As one of the founders I'm most proud of, and that was definitely influenced by B Corp, was becoming employee owned. So that the company would exist for the benefit, um, not just to enrich the founders, which is so traditional in companies, but to uh, build economic security for the people who work here. That is you know, one of the more important parts of what we do. And for me, I think what I'm most proud of is the work that we've done with a Canadian NGO called Impact. And we worked with them to successfully export, uh, legally export gold from the DRC from a conflict affected area. You know, it wasn't necessarily profitable for us to do, but it was profitable in the sense that we learnt a lot from that project. Uh, and now we can take that learning and that experience um, with working with conflict affected areas and also working with an NGO um, and apply that to how we move forward uh, and where we source materials from in the future. You can do a really deep dive, but what the B Corp standard does is it makes it easy for consumers to understand that a company has gone above and beyond in terms of what they need to do.